Horseback riding is a popular pastime, but to Eric Bozies, it's more than just a hobby. It's a lifesaver. Eric is a recovering addict who made the decision to take up horseback riding in order to keep himself healthy and clear-minded in his battle against drugs and alcohol. People who are in recovery, actually, they say that working with horses are the best. It heals the best. Like, it's a good sense of, like, calming yourself down and working one-on-one -on -one with the horse and, and having that serenity. Eric is so determined to make this process work that he continues to work in the same environment where his substance abuse first began at the age of 15. Eric works in Toronto's nightclub scene where drugs and alcohol are a constant temptation. Um, I have a lot of people who ask me to do shots with them or, you know, I'll go to the bar and I'll have certain girls that want to do drinks and stuff. For me, I mean, no one really knows what's in my drink, you know? People don't know that I'm just drinking cranberry juice. For all they know, there's vodka in there, so I like that. Like, I can be, you know, I can be focused and I can be in control of myself. Although Eric firmly believes that his methods will prove successful in his road to recovery, Hamish Schweit, a certified drug and alcohol counselor for over 25 years, says that Eric is nothing more than a ticking time bomb. One of the um, slogans which I'm sure you've all heard around here is uh, if you uh, don't want a haircut, don't go to the barber shop. So um, we recommend and we find that a lot of people, what they need to do once they get sober is they need to actually make new friends, new people, new places, new things. Despite some saying that he's only setting himself up for failure, Eric believes that horseback riding gives him the strength to keep fighting his battle against drugs and alcohol. I feel this sense of, of freedom, you know, serenity. Um, it's peaceful up here. You know, it gets me out of the whole nightclub and the people. But my life is so much better today. For Say News, I'm Anna Chernikov.